It's tiny, but mighty. It's the W12, and they're one of the only bus routes to operate the Optair Solo. And we're about to ride on it. So let's go. This feels so strange. We are currently on the W12, as we speak. And from the off, you can tell that there's no real window behind me. Oh, that's strange. What is this? See the electric. Most of the people thought the Enviro 400 EVs on the 63 was the first routes to have those sky roofs, but they're wrong. No. <laughs> It's another Octa. Aha! Now, if the bus driver is, if he's perfect, then there'll be no problem. I can't believe this is the only route that goes through this little road here. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bizarre. It's strange that a bus can do this. I gotta say. I gotta say, the view of Walthamstow Village looks beautiful. It is quite a nice area. Yeah. It's crazy that this type of bus, and I'm guessing this is the only bus that can do this road. Imagine if they put an Enviro 200 in this. Oh, that's which, that's not going to be possible. Anything longer than 9.7, finish. Yeah. So I can definitely understand why the driver said that going through Walthamstow Village is impossible. Even with these buses, it's slightly okay, slightly possible, but it takes precision and perfect timing. But if there's a car parked in the middle of the road, then you're screwed. So... I think we've just experienced a beyond space and time moment. That looks literally beautiful. Look at that old bus stop shelter. It's made out of wood. So what are your thoughts about W12 getting changed? Yeah, cause, cause I believe, cause this this W12 like it has potential, yeah. definitely. Yeah.
It's been your generation. Yeah. Oh, God. Some of the people in my generation left school and they've been working for their work and over Good Lord. So, um... We're not talking about the control. No, 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 no. I know, I know W12 is not going to go through the Wolfenstow village. That's good. It's not... Okay. Why? I thought... Go around and interview the shopkeepers. We're not sure if the shopkeepers know about this. Oh, that boy. would be a good thing. You have a good day. Yeah. Safe yeah. journey. Yeah. See you again. That's the nice thing about this bathroom. Passing the door. Right. 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 I gotta say, it's very, it's very sad that it's upsetting. Some of the locals rely on the W12 a lot. Yeah. And the fact that TFL wants to change it soon in September, it's just kind of upsetting. Yeah. So, let me break it down. The W12 currently runs from Wolfenstow to Wanstead, but from the 7th of September, the W12 will be cut back to Wolfenstow Central and instead will pivot upwards via Churchill, accompanied with the existing 212, and will rejoin the W16 to Whips Cross. But it will reroute down to Leytonstone with the W13, then to Wanstead, where the bus would normally terminate, but it goes up to South Woodford Station, and then up to Woodford Bridge. Whilst W12 is getting rearranged, W14 will start from Whips Cross via Eagle Pond, replacing the W12, to South Woodford and will be extended to Loughton. Meanwhile, the W13 will be extended to Leighton Superstores, effectively replacing the W14. And the reason why all these buses are changing is because of 549. 549 is getting the chop. My first impressions of the W12 is that the, um, around Wolfenstow Village and the Eagle Pond, it's so serene. Like, the area around there is just so, it's so peaceful. It's a shame because Wolfenstow, like, some parts of Wolfenstow is like a quiet area. It's such a comfortable and a, a quiet place. Especially when you have Whips Cross Hospital. Yeah, it's vital for those residents that live around that area as well, because that's, that's their only thing. Yeah. To get to places such as Whips Cross and South Woodford and here, Wanstead. And it's a pity that they're going to change it soon. Now, I thought this would be interesting. How the buses terminate is they go through that little road here and then they turn around coming back here. Looks interesting. I gotta say, compared to the other buses, the W12 is just a tiny bus. It looks so tiny. Yeah. <laughs> is giant. Yeah. Look at these two buses, and this one is just small. Fun fact: the W12 is the only bus route to this day that still have the old Optair Solos. This doesn't include the W9, by the way, as they were provided emergency services from Stagecoach after the tragic news of the Sullivan Buses departure. Also, the W12 have been using MIDI buses since it started service. But it's tiny, but mighty. Very mighty. <laughs> Until September, where it's gonna be giant and violent. <laughs> Now, do apologise, the blinds are broken, obviously. It's an old bus. I mean, this, is, this has been surviving through our ancestors. It's been around since 1847. I'm joking, I'm joking. 2010. 2010. Those locals, they, they really care about this route. 
Mm. I've never seen anybody, like any locals from Wolfenstow, have so much passion and have so much care to a route that has like, you know, so much potential. So much yeah! They're like, this route is just so important to them, as if their life depends on it. Upon further research, I stumbled across Riku Frederick's video explaining how efficient the W12 is at its current state. W12 provides access to Whips Cross Hospital for the residents of Walthamstow, Snaresbrook and Wanstead. There was even a petition made to increase the frequency of the buses. There are nice views on the way. There's something warm and inviting in the colours of the maquette. It's got one door. It's got a disabled persons area. Generally speaking, it's a pleasant ride. There's something that makes me smile when I'm riding this bus. And it's exactly what makes it my favourite bus route. Oh, I think the driver's ready to go. <sighs> oh, we're off. Don't forget the famous saying. And, and away, away we, we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> Another day, another Optair solo. <laughs> it's beautiful. I might go scuba diving there one day. <laughs> <laughs> To Wolfenstow Village because Wolfenstow Village is very narrow and they're the only buses that can do it. Oh gosh, going through a narrow road there. I've just noticed, look, that door is smaller than that one. Yeah, one door is smaller than the other. Yeah. I've just noticed. Mm -hmm. And it's not just the only bus that has that. Some of the Optair Solo SRs on the H2 and H3 routes, like, it just, ah, oh, just doesn't feel perfect. I can't unsee it. So, this is Wolfenstow Village. The area that this route will no longer serve in a few weeks time. Yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm hoping the locals don't mind a bus route. I mean, how often do you wake up in the morning and you see a bus just crawling its way through this village? <laughs> <laughs> it That's just, cute, yeah. And the fact that this is engraved in with the pavement, it just looks just absolute crazy. Yeah, that's the, um, see this is the death spot, because no other bus can do this, no other bus can do this, apart from the, um, Optair Solos, it can go through this little tiny wobble side. Uh, my experience of being in Walthamstow Village is an interesting one, I am one of the few people of colour that live in the village. Um, as you can see, Walthamstow Village is very different to the rest of Walthamstow in that it's a highly gentrified part of Walthamstow. Um, and I'm very conscious of that being one of the few black people that live in the village. Um, although it is a nice, pleasant place, as you can see, lots of babies, lots of dogs, lots of families. Um, it's generally a nice atmosphere and kind of a nice place to live, but it does have its some quiet prejudices. That's what I would say. So, uh, can you describe some of the prejudices that you've experienced? Like people look friendly, but people aren't as friendly as they may appear. 
you know, people smile at each other, but when they see you, they don't smile as much. You know, I think sometimes people question what I might be doing in the air. As you see, I'm out here in my sliders, my my hat, my Jordan shorts, my Zulu Nation top smoking a bag. I don't look like, you know, 95% of the people that live around here, but mm. I do live around here. And I think a lot of them think that maybe they're above me, but they don't know what I do and I don't know what they do, so, you know. Um, but other than that, um, it's a good place to come and raise a family. It is safe, it is friendly. For the most part, it is quiet. Um, and it certainly doesn't have all of the busyness that the rest of Waltham So has. So I think if it's somewhere you want to come and raise a family, um, then Waltham So Village is a good place to live. That's us driving the W12. Yep. Um, this is Ace Level Bros, and I'm Denzel's World. That's a wrap, and I'll see you guys later. Bye -bye. Goodbye. It's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs>